at this place in Vermont history, one of the last standing U.S. railroad covered bridges. Steve Perkins is with me as the executive director of the Vermont Historical Society right here in Wolcott. Yes, absolutely. So this is the Fisher Covered Bridge. When it was preserved in 1968, and of course that's when the sign was built, it says last bridge currently in use. Well, it's not in use anymore, but it was until 1994. And so it's a it's a covered bridge, as you can see, made out of wood, and it's got that really cool cupola on top. Do, do you have any idea what that's for? No idea, but we should go take a look. So why don't we go up, we'll take a look inside, and we can talk about the cupola and the bridge. So now that we're in here, I have a feeling that the cupola has to be for the smoke from the train. Yeah, the smoke and the steam coming out of an old old steam engine. On this line alone, there were five covered bridges, and some people even called it the covered bridge line. Um, but by the 1950s, they had much heavier trains pulling much bigger loads, and it just didn't make economic sense. So the railroad started ripping down all the covered bridges. So the community here in the Lamoille Valley mm -hmm. got together and said, we can't lose this last covered bridge. And they even found out it was the last railroad covered bridge in the United States being used wow. at the time. So they raised the money and they conserved it um, and saved it. Well, this is amazing. Woo woo at this place in history.